I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics for You. I'm going to be leading you through a movement for the quadriceps muscles uh, lying on your back. So the all four quads, what they do at the knee is they straighten or extend the knee. One of the quads, the rectus femoris, flexes the hip. We're not going to be dealing with that today. Um, I'm very fortunate to have this great big bolster, quite expensive, um, but there's other, and I'm going to demonstrate with my bolster, but I've brought some pillows, and it's fine to use uh, pillows at home. If I were going to use this pile of pillows, the higher the better, I would probably put this pillow, just a couch pillow on the bottom, and then I would pile some uh, bed pillows on top, and then my knees would just go over the bed pillows like you're going to see with this bolster. Um, if you don't have this many pillows, any amount of height is going to be okay, but uh, higher is better. And so let me get these out of the way. I think I'll just push these over here. Some people will take uh, couch pillows that they might have from a, from a chair or a couch in their living room. Um, the quadricep muscles are very, very important. Uh, they have, a lot of us have a lot of extra held tightness, contraction in our quad muscles. And it really um, not only affects the hip and the knee, but also the low back. So it's really nice to have movements you can do at home that are very effective for releasing excess contraction in the quadricep muscles. So I'm going to go ahead and lie down. And um, I'm going to do one leg at a time. I suggest one leg at a time because then your brain and you can really feel what's going on. And I'm going to take this in three positions. So what the quads do at the knee is they straighten the knee. So I'm now straightening my right knee my quads are contracted. I'm going to slowly release and let my foot come back down to the floor. Now, you go toward straightening. Let's say you're recovering from a knee injury. Maybe you start to straighten and that's as far as is comfortable. That's fine. You do not want to overdo it. You want to be comfortable at all times. And then from wherever you are, you just slowly release from there. So this is the first position I'm using right now and my kneecaps are more facing up toward the ceiling. So I'm straightening my right knee and I'm slowly releasing. Now we have a, a medial quad and a lateral quad. In order for me to focus more on the medial part of the quadricep muscles, I am going to roll my leg outward. That's going to bring my medial quad more toward the ceiling. And now I'm going to go toward straightening my thigh. My toes are off to the right. And now I've got a very strong focus contraction more in my medial right quad. And I'm going to slowly release. And as I repeat, I would roll my leg out straighten my knee or go toward straightening to comfort my toes more to the right slowly release and i repeat two or three times now i'm going to focus on my lateral quad so i'm going to roll my leg in now my lateral quad is more toward the ceiling and as i straighten my knee my toes are off to the left and now I'm more focused on my lateral quad. And I slowly release. And I just let my quad, my foot come back down to a comfortable position. Then I roll my leg in again, facing my lateral quad more toward the ceiling. I go toward straightening my knee, my toes off more to the left. And I slowly release and I relax. And I can really feel that it's more, my muscle is more springy and more bouncy. I'll just show you uh, the three positions with my left. 
So I, I usually start, well, I usually start where a person is. If some people are really very externally rotated, then that's going to focus in my right, for example. If a person is naturally like this as their starting position, that's where I, I'll start. Their medial quad is more toward their ceiling, the ceiling. Their toes are more out to their left. I will start with the medial quad and slowly release. Then after a few repetitions, I'll have them see if it's comfortable for them to bring their thigh and their knee cap more toward the ceiling and have them do the central position. They're getting all their quads, but especially the intermedius and all the quads working together, including rectus femoris, which also works at the knee, and then slowly release. And if they are able, they'll internally rotate their leg, which focuses their lateral quad toward the ceiling. And now as they straighten or go toward straightening their knee, their toes are off to the right. They're more focused, hopefully, on their lateral quad and slowly release and come back. Now, some people are so contracted in one quad or the other they might be very medially contracted or very laterally contracted in their quads, that sometimes the differentiation isn't quite there at the beginning. But the more you practice this, use your awareness to focus on the sensations from the movements you're doing, the more you'll get that differentiation in the quads to come in. This is a wonderful movement to do and um, I, I strongly recommend that you try it and even see if you're having low back problems, see if this movement has off also helped your low back. So I wanna thank you very much and I hope you try this.